Okay, this feral that I picked up has got feather lice. I'm going to see if I can show you what the feather lice looks like. There's some of it right there. Right there. Can you see that? There we go. See those little line like bugs? And see, they, they're digging in at the uh, feather, and that's what they do is they, they eat feathers. Let's see, can you see that? Another way to tell, like on dark birds like this, uh, it can be kind of tough to, I mean on the dark parts, it can be tough to see if you got feather lice. One of the ways is you hold up, you stretch out the feather, stretch out the feathers, and you hold them up to the light, and you can look through them. Another, another sign that's really easy to tell if you have feather lice is like right there. See those little pinholes? Yeah, like that. All those little pinholes is the uh, the feather lice chomping at the way at the feather. Let's see if he's got some other pinholes on him. Yeah, like this feather right here's got some. But it's like you know on a on a pigeon that's got white feathers, it's super easy to see. And that's what. Uh, that's what that is, but don't worry, we're going to get rid of his feather lice and he'll be lice free. And so the first thing I do is I get out a bucket and I put it out here in the sunshine and I let the uh, the water warm up. My borax. Now the, the bucket out there is about four gallons, so I'll be using four tablespoons a borax, but I like to dissolve it first. So let's get our borax out. One. Two. Three. Now, it doesn't dissolve very well. It needs a little help, so I like to uh, put it in here and then put some hot water in here and then shake it up and let it dissolve. There we go. still see it's still floating around in there. It's going to take a little while to dissolve, so we'll let this sit for about 15-20 uh, minutes or so. I get my borax from Walmart, and here it is. And look at that. What a great price. It is called 20 Mule Team Borax, and it's found in the laundry aisle. And here we are, look at that. It's looking pretty good. Nice and dissolved. Time to go put it in the bucket. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Here we go. Water's feeling a lot better. It's uh, not that hot today. It's only about 100 degrees. And here's our borax. And it's, uh, it's nice and dissolved. Seems pretty good. Now it's time to dip the bird. And what I do is I put it in and I go in tail first and kind of get the solution, this water to come up around them. And I take, you can see this, I take one wing at a time, and I spread them, I kind of massage the, the borax, don't drink that, I massage the uh, 
borax water into the uh, into the wing. I'm trying to get it to fully saturate. Let's do the other wing here. People put um, other people put borax into the bath water, and the pigeons drink it all the time. So I know other people, but it, I don't like my birds drinking the borax water. I just like to saturate them and you know give them a bath, and, and it uh, works for me. So let's see. here. I think what happens is that the borax actually stays on the feathers and then the uh, and then it, that's what kills the uh, it takes like two or three days to kill all the feather lice so I mean they're not just gonna they're not gonna just like uh, fall off dead right now the, it takes a little bit to, to get them off but after this treatment the, the feather lice are gone and it takes it takes like yeah I don't know three four days and then they're gone and then the only time I get feather lice again on my birds is I introduce a new bird or like a, uh, another feral comes in and you know bumps up against my birds and spreads it to them directly but other than that I go like six months without feather lice.